Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. I'm Juliana. This video is going to be all about low maintenance and practical ways to look classy and sophisticated in your everyday life. I wanted to make this video because I see a lot of the old money and rich girl style on social media and I was thinking about how they often seem very removed from I guess normal people style and I mean I guess that's the point of social media sometimes in the sense that it's something we can aspire to and look up to beyond just our everyday life. But I definitely believe that anyone can look classy and stylish not just models on social media. By the way exciting news guys I finally opened up my virtual styling services. So if you want to get style advice personalized for your body type, style essence, and color season, the first 10 people who do sign up I will be giving them a discount so definitely make sure to sign up before the spots get filled. I'll have all the info linked in the description. I'm gonna cover clothes first and then move on to makeup, hair, and accessories. But before we talk about our appearance, it's super important first to check in with our posture and non-verbals. You want to have a straight back and shoulders up, back, and down. Also make sure to make eye contact whenever you're speaking with someone and keep your head level. These small tweaks can can sometimes be even more important than what you wear because how you present yourself makes such a difference in how assertive and confident you come across. But speaking of which, in terms of clothing, my first tip is to only wear and buy clothes that are flattering and work together. A low maintenance way to achieve this is to streamline your closet. You want your clothes to follow one or two main color palettes. For I guess a more conventionally classic wardrobe, I'd suggest having most of your closet be neutrals and the rest of it being colors. Neutral colors will make your outfits look timeless and really allow all your clothes to work together while the colorful pieces add interest and make your outfits fun. We ultimately want to build a small yet mighty closet full of clothes that we can just throw on and will look good and effortlessly. Another way to ensure this is to buy a smaller amount of higher quality pieces. Wearing clothes that are made of good materials will make you look more expensive as they tend to drape and lay on the body much better than cheaper fabrics. A great brand that I feel like exemplifies this is Estier. They've been super kind to send me some of their pieces to try on and share with you guys. I'm gonna scoot to the side for the try on. The first item is is this crop checker knit cardigan which is such a timeless piece and I absolutely love the cut of this bat wing cashmere sweater and I think it's the material that really makes it look so lush. This next piece is more for fall and winter but that's honestly the perk of having a timeless style. You can kind of buy clothes based on their design and you don't have to worry about things going out of trend for the next season. I think my favorite item has to be these rayon trousers. They're super soft and the neutral color makes them look really expensive. I think this white dress will be perfect for the summer. It has these subtle polka dot details and a tie around the waist. The last item Item is this blue and white tweed jacket. It has this really unique piping. It almost looks nautical to me. Their clothes are on the more neutral side, so they're perfect if you want closet staples that are still unique. So definitely check them out. I'll make sure to link their website down below. I want to do a little lookbook to show you guys how the secret to a classy wardrobe is having each piece be versatile and able to be styled numerous ways. With this cardigan, I can wear it with black slacks like how I did in the try-on, or it can also pair well with leather shorts. This will make it perfect for spring. And if you want it still to be for colder weather, just add black tights, thermal ones especially if it's freezing, and knee-high boots. You can also pair it with a turtleneck or a white maxi skirt for a more elegant look. The same skirt can be paired with the navy blue tweed jacket, and this same jacket will work well with wide leg jeans. For a pullover sweater like this one, there's so many options. You can wear it normally with wide leg jeans, or you can wear it like a wrap cardigan. It'll also look amazing layered underneath a jacket of the same tone. This camel color will pair well with white trousers and a beige purse especially. Also for warm neutral outfits, make sure to dress them up with gold jewelry. This color is more for fall, but it can be styled for any season. It just depends on what you pair with it. The crop length will also pair well with these beige trousers. Tie knot trousers like these can be dressed both up or down. You can pair them with either a tighter crop top or wearing a boxy sweater will give you a more mature appearance. Even a zip-up hoodie will look great for an athleisure look. A white dress is definitely a staple. Since this one's a midi length, it will pair well with many types of lower heeled shoes. So think tennis shoes, ballet flats, and lower heels. In general, I'd suggest pairing shorter dresses with higher heels and longer dresses with shorter heels. That way, you'll never look overdone in your outfit. You can also use it as a skirt and layer over a jacket or sweater. Again, the options are endless, so just play around according to the weather and occasion. Alright, let's move on to hair and makeup. Something that I've noticed is that you can look classy wearing no makeup or a lot of makeup, but your hair should be styled and well kept. 
And this doesn't have to be anything crazy, it can just come down to it being brushed and defined. So use a hair gel or hair pomade to tame your flyaways. I always carry a portable hairbrush and I just whip it out every time I feel like my hair gets stringy. If you're outside and it's windy, I'd recommend defaulting to a sleek updo like a bun or braids, especially if you have longer hair. It becomes like a hair tornado when it gets windy. And although this next tip doesn't quite relate to appearance, smelling good is super important. For fragrances, you want to opt for scents that are not overly fruity or sweet, so instead try brighter and cleaner notes. And if your style is darker, opt for something like a spicy or musky perfume. And also, you don't want to spray so much that you knock everyone else out around you, so don't spray like crazy. But the right amount of perfume can go such a long way in elevating your presence. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of different classy makeup styles, but just like with your clothes, you want to keep it minimal and polished. Now, what's considered minimal can look different on everyone. If you have high contrast features or where you have a big shade difference between your hair and your skin, then you might be able to handle stronger makeup and still not look overdone. If you have lower contrast or where there's a minimal shade difference between your hair and skin, then lighter makeup will often look more effortless. Classic styles do tend to go for more simplistic looks even if they are bold. So if you want to make things more dramatic, I'd suggest a vibrant lip and matching blush shade. But to keep from looking overly done, try highlighting just one aspect of your face. So if you choose a bolder lip, then scale back on the eyeshadow and vice versa. In terms of accessories, the whole less is more principle definitely applies, but at the same time, always wearing these key pieces will ensure that you look sophisticated. I personally wear jewelry at all times because I can get kind of lazy to take it off and put it on again and again, but in order to do that, you need to make sure you buy high quality jewelry that won't tarnish. I actually made a video on the top 10 jewelry essentials that I think everyone needs for a classic wardrobe, so check that video out for a more detailed breakdown, but examples of styles that I think are timeless are things like small hoop earrings like huggy hoops, drop earrings, small pendant necklaces, delicate cuff bracelets, and band rings. Jewelry has this amazing ability to transform an outfit, and since a lot of classy outfits are neutral, your jewelry is what will add dimension to your look. Also, quick tip, unless you're doing it intentionally, try not to mix metals, so either wear all silver or all gold. That way your entire look will appear more refined and well thought out. For shoes, there's definitely a variety of styles that will look sophisticated. You definitely don't have to wear stilettos to look classy, and honestly, really high heels can actually look less refined, especially when worn in the daytime, so flatter or lower shoes can make you look more classy and effortless. So these can be things like ballet flats, Chelsea boots, one strap sandals, and block heels. Also, I'd recommend to avoid choosing shoes that have a lot of different colors in them. These aren't bad per se, but they can be harder to pair with the rest of your wardrobe, and because of this, it can be more likely to have a mismatched outfit. So opt for designs that are just one or two colors, and preferably in a neutral color to maximize its versatility. Alright guys, that's all I have for you for this video, make sure to comment down below what makes you feel most classy and sophisticated in your everyday life. Again, definitely check out my website and services if you want to get personal style advice for your body type and color season. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok if you are into all things style and fashion. I do a lot of outfit inspo and kind of rapid fire style advice on there. And if you like this video, definitely subscribe. I'd love to have you here. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!